uh, what's going on in the NFL, man. All these moves going on. Uh, it's been some teams that have done excellent in free agency at the beginning of the free agency period, and some other ones where I'm like, I don't know what you're doing. What are you waiting on? Um, so what we're going to do, because we got a big panel here tonight, is just go through who you guys think have won free agency so far and who are some teams that you think haven't. Um, so starting with me, uh, I'll just say it now. Um, as far as losers go, if we're talking about losers, uh, I feel like Minnesota uh, really hasn't done anything. They picked up Aaron Jones. Uh, I was thinking that they were going to need a quarterback looking at the Kirk Cousins situation and what's going on with them. Uh, I know they haven't addressed that, but there's nobody on their roster that I would say is is worth being a, a, a starting quarterback right now. Um, they lost their best defensive player, Daniel Hunter. I'm trying to figure out what Minnesota is doing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just feel like they didn't do well in free agency and they could have made a, a bigger splash. If you ask me looking at some of the glaring holes they have. Also, I'll be honest with you, Cowboy Chris. I know what you guys are trying to do there. I know. But I feel like the Cowboys could have made a bigger splash. With what you guys got going on right now, I feel like you needed to add to it. Um, you lost a running back. You didn't go get one. I'm pretty sure you'll get one in the draft. That's what Jerry likes to do. But I feel like Jerry needed to change his approach. Uh, you can't keep doing the same thing and expect different results. And we know that Jerry likes to build through the draft. He wants to sign his players. I just feel like Jerry could have went and got some of those free agents out there to, you know, add to you guys' team. I feel like it's going to be the same thing over. So I had to give it to the Vikings and the Cowboys or some of the teams that I feel like did not do what I feel like they should have done. Now, I'll give you three, team, three teams that I think had, did pretty well in free agency so far. Uh, the first one is going to be the Houston Texans. Uh, I like what Houston Texans have done. Uh, they added uh, uh, Daniel Hunter from the Vikings. I like that pickup. They added Joe Mixon and signed him to a three year extension. Love it. Uh, you know, they still got to add some more players around CJ uh, Stroud, but I like what Houston's doing on the defensive side to help them out. I'm pretty sure CJ Stroud with the receivers he had were fa fa fantastic. Tank Dale, uh, uh, what was the other one's name? I keep forgetting the other guy's name. He, he was killing all year. Uh, Nico, I think it was, I forgot his name, but. They were excellent. Wide Nico, receivers. Collins. Nico Collins, yeah. Nico Collins, uh, excellent receivers uh, he had this year. But I like what Houston's doing so far uh, in free agency. I like what the Eagles have done. The Eagles have uh, uh, added some great players. Saquon Barkley, uh, adding Devin White, uh, CJ Gardner-Johnson. Excellent pickups that they had. The Eagles uh, are going to be a, a force to be reckoned with here. Um, and then also, uh, the last team is I like what the Chicago Bears have done. Uh, Chicago Bears were excellent uh, picking up the, those receipts. Uh, uh, Keenan Allen, uh, DeAndre Swift. Um, they got Montez Sweat last year in a, in a trade. So I'm liking uh, what the Chicago Bears have done. And, and, and you, you see it now. The writing's on the wall. They will be getting Caleb Williams with the number one pick. Um, so it, they gave Caleb Williams some excellent weapons. Excellent weapons. They already got Cole Komet there. Uh, they gave the uh, 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 Caleb Williams excellent weapons to begin his career with. So we'll start with Chris. Chris, who you got as the winners of the agency this year? Uh, the the winners to me uh, won, won last night. It was the Steelers. When you get Justin Fields for a six-round pick uh, and Russell Wilson, they, they basically said, okay, one of the two is going to work out for us because we already got weapons on the outside. The Steelers always have receivers. They got tight ends, and they all got defense. So, uh, to me, winner number one is Pittsburgh. Uh, loser number one, of course, I agree with you wholeheartedly about the Cowboys not doing anything. I, I made several posts and also on my show on Cowboy Podcast, we, we were very disgusted about the Cowboys sitting there and basically being complacent with nothing uh, right. and continuously losing players after player after player and right. actually not filling any holes and they figured hey we're gonna go to the draft but hey last year in the draft none of our draft picks actually had any contribution other than shoemaker uh, out of michigan and he was an inch short in in philadelphia so that tells you everything so right. other than that man i got i got pittsburgh winning the cowboys uh losing uh, right now in free agency all right dante what you thinking on it now, oh, first yeah, off, you oh, man, let me introduce Jay West, man. Give it up for my boy Jay West, man. He like, how you feeling, bro? Man, I'm feeling good, brother. You know, it's always good being on here. 
All right, yeah. All right, I have to get my salutations first, but go ahead, TZ. Oh, yeah, I'm going to make this quick, man. But, you know, you called it first. Got to give you props. You said Russ was going to go to the Steelers. So, in case you forgot. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I didn't forget it, but I did say he was going to the Steelers. This Justin Fields going threw me for a loop, but it's an excellent pickup for a six-round pick, like Chris said. <clears throat> but I say uh, the ultimate winner of free agency, in my opinion, Kansas City Chiefs. Resign Chris Jones. And we just okay. got Hollywood. You add that, man. That's a beautiful. Let the league and drops. <laughs> Let the league and drops. He ain't gonna oh, do it with when he Let the league and drops. Okay, but go ahead. Oh. Damn, Irv Smith Jr. as the opposite tight end. Come on, man. Another pass catching tight end. Come on, he man. Oh, he ain't getting the ball. We'll, we'll go ahead. Yeah, he's not saying. He's not gonna get about six, home. seven. He's gonna get about five, six, he's seven. He's still got the dirt. Um, that's it. We know you're a Chiefs fan, but is that a homer pick or do you deep down in your heart believe? That's all deep down in my soul. Deep down in my soul. In my soul. So think about what was added, man. It's that what is was kept up. was added. Now look, if you want to say because we ain't got Legarius back yet tonight, but he franchise tag, so we still got that cash there. But outside of that, I would probably go, uh, I'll probably go Ravens made a splash, man. There's uh-huh. no way. There's no way you think y'all won the y'all won the um the offseason bro. I definitely do. I know who didn't. There's no <laughs> there's no <laughs> there's no <laughs> Jones in Bill. Hey, good reading. Hey, hey good reading. Right. Good reading. George, who you got as the winners and losers of? of you know, of I'm, like, I'm like you, uh, Forrest and Cowboy Chris. I think uh, the Cowboys didn't do anything. Obviously, I was reading somewhere where uh, Derek Henry said he didn't get a phone call from Dallas. Right? They didn't even reach out. Ain't got no money. Why don't you reach out? Right? Like you, ain't got no money. You gotta, but still, you make a phone call just to gauge something. Never mind. I got, I got two bill for you. Wait, yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah. can you go throw the phone at the wall? I don't know, man. I think, I think the Cowboys lost. Um, I do like what Chicago Bears have done, man. They they uh, moved up a lot of space yeah. open for Caleb Williams. Um, Pittsburgh getting them two quarterbacks, like we said earlier. I think this is um, Justin Fields' is last shot in the sense to where, all right, sit him down. He can learn from uh, Russell Wilson and kind of really get the game of court, the science of quarterbacking, right? He can get that, and hopefully two years down the line, he can really be Pittsburgh's main guy. And so I think for right now, I got I got uh, Chicago one winning, Dallas Vikings losing. So it's been, you know, even for me so far. All right. Falcons we won think? Super Bowl. Falcons. Huh? They did good. Falcons? They did good. Okay. Did I? Kirk oh, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Atlanta, Atlanta did good. Um, my top team, whatever, and I um, and like I hate to say, it, like it's the Eagles, man. The Eagles they won all this season so far, man. Like you go out and you, and you go get a Saquon, though, man. Easy one of the top backs in the league, man. Um, DeAndre Swift, man. Like he was he was productive. Like he was a, a great part of the offense, man. Like you know what I'm saying. But like to lose him and they go get Saquon and sign and sign other Devin White. You know, you know, to um, to, to already go live at the core already anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like that just like like I don't have, like first of all, I don't know how the hell the um, the he was getting all his cap. You know what I'm saying? Like like this kind of players left and right. Right. And they, um, got they, players um, retired. Huh? Yeah, players retired. Yeah, though, man. And they and they signed um um got on on too, man. You know, it's like what, like a two year, one year deal, I think, man. So right. like you know, they it just kind of like, like just like building like all the core back, you know, like slowly but surely. The losers for sure, the Cowboys. Um, they did nothing, and I'm happy about it. I'm I'm happy to see they they do nothing, whatever. I hope they they go broke. You know what I'm saying? Like Cowboys, Chris Cowboys, like that. Cowboys, Chris man had a had a fire department on standby because y'all burn y'all burning to the ground. <laughs> So, you like, like that. I love to see like it. That. I love to see it. Just, 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 I think, I think it's. I think this is hard feelings from early in the season. Let, oh, let fact, let go. You, you know what? You know what? I'm lying. I'm lying. I did hit a, a couple of sign cat with him. So, um, so like what? A two year deal. <laughs> <laughs> you ran the four and a half. Ball to run the ball. What? Like, what? Yeah. what? 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 Not a sign, cat. Yes, cat. I can't wait. Uh, like, run the ball for? Year, yeah, yeah. A two-year deal. I'm um, about what? Like a uh, two mil, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cat, we even crack. This boy here, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man. I think uh, people probably won the, won the offseason, man. And a cop <clears throat> probably easily 
easily the biggest losers of all time. So, oh, so bro. yeah, go ahead. Of go all ahead, time. Wow. Yeah. Of all time. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, Jay, what, what you, what, who you got as winners and losers of free agency so far? I, I'm going to start my losers first. Uh, like Lee said, no, no disrespect, uh, Cowboys, Chris, bro, but. <laughs> Yeah, that, that free agents have been looking uh, tough for them so far, not making a move. I'm glad about it. You know, I, I'm yeah. not a fan of them. You know, I'm glad about it. But if we've been on a realistic standpoint, man, them not even giving Derrick Henry a phone call. That's crazy to me. Uh, understanding, you know, money situations, all that. But at least a phone call, I probably thought they would have made it. Um, winners, I'm kind of like in a tie with that. Between uh, Chicago, I like the moves they've been doing um, so far. But I, I agree. I see the Steelers got it. You, they got Patrick Queen. You know, from Baltimore, that was a major pickup for me for a defense that's already pretty solid. Um, Russell Wilson uh, at the quarterback position, definitely an upgrade, man. So I see Steelers, they definitely winning so far. Between Steelers and Chicago. Okay. So, so we just going to act like giving, 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 giving uh, Pat Mahomes better, better, better weapons. Nate. Nate. Let him like won the bro. Super Bowl. Y'all yeah, won the Super Bowl, no, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm tired of this with you, man. Like, God, the ooh, league and drop. Nate, y'all are back to back. Hollywood, the Hollywood finals was not that great. Like, we, like, Led the league how is that not like, man, like, come like, on, bro. This not man like, ran over four two. No, completely or something like that, Maybe yeah. a Steve Higgins or something we'll give you, but like Hollywood Brown is 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 a good receiver. He's good for you guys' right. team. You yeah, needed somebody to, to to beat. Uh, what you, so give me his stand line. Yeah, give me yeah. what you think his stand line gonna be. Tune in to the Mike to Mike podcast every week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks, and like always, see y'all next week.